Link engaged. Welcome to TeamSpeak, advanced voice communication software for any platform. TeamSpeak allows groups of people to communicate and share information with anyone via the internet or through private networks. Using your Windows, Mac or Linux based computer, all you need is a headset with microphone and in minutes you can be chatting with others in real time using our crystal clear voice technology. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Team Speak, Team Liquid, StarCraft 2 Open. I am DJ Wheat, and joining me, as always, is Chill. Chill, this is the Grand Finals, and we have got two very interesting players up to bat here. Nurchio, who fought his way as a random player and finally settled on Zerg, and he is uh, taking on Fuser. Now, I don't know for sure. Maybe you've already loaded game number one and you know uh, what race he is going to be here, but I'm loading up game number one right now so that we can get started. Yeah, it looks like uh, the shenanigans of Nurchio ended at round of eight because he's definitely decided to pick Zerg in the finals, and we saw him play uh, both the round of eight until, uh, I guess, Steps of War and uh, the semifinals as Zerg. So looks like he's most comfortable with Zerg, as, uh, as many be. players are these days. Must be. All right, well, here's the countdown for your grand finals of the Team Speak. Team Liquid StarCraft II Open. It is Nurchio the Zerg versus Fuser the Terran. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to Team Speak and thanks to TeamLiquid.net. And, of course, thanks to all you guys for joining us. Here's the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And uh, we've got Nurchio with a little bit better drone split right there and uh, he is you know, going to be playing as the blue zerg in the southwest position of zelnaga tower uh, caverns his opponent fuser is going to be playing as the red terran in the northeast and uh nurchio asking if he's had any tough opponents fuser says yep <laughs> and nurchio says for example Fuser responds, everyone is tough for me. So getting into uh, getting into his head here early on in this matchup nice. for sure. <laughs> and of course we have our, our internet sleuth who has just determined that the finals has been spoiled for him because he's seen the five replays. Uh, I don't know how many times you have to explain this every week, but we'll go through it one more time. One more time, We don't Joe. know how Maybe many games are in the series. It. It's a best of five. There are fake replays if the game did if the series did not go uh, to four or five games. So we don't know how many games yes. are in the series. You'll actually notice if you look back at the old series, there's three replays for the series that only required two. Yeah. So now that that's out of the way, let's focus on the game. Hopefully, a whole lot of nerd brains didn't just explode right there. I know it's a very high level concept, as Artosis would say. But uh, yeah, so it could, Nurchio could BM his way to victory in game one, and that could be it. The other four games could be totally dummy, uh, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Fuser's gonna check in here through the uh, line of Nurchio. He does have his pool down over here on the Terran side. Barracks is uh, going up right now, as well as one gas. So doing a little bit of blocking here at the natural expansion. They are going to go toe to toe. I believe the drone got the first hit in there, so he would have been able to, but he doesn't have Oh, he didn't have enough money to put the hatchery down, and so he had to wait. Now he's going to be able to beat on this uh, SCV. Won't get it, but uh, the engineering bay has 167 tasty hit points that that drone has to <laughs> chew through in order to put that hatchery down. You know what? If I was that drone, I would say forget it, and I would just build my hatchery right above it, misplaced by one square. <laughs> no big deal. I feel like it would be worth it uh, to just get that hatchery down. And look at this, a second SCV. Coming down may get onto that engineering bay. Do we have some Zerglings in production? Yes, we do. So they'll be able to go down there and beat that engineering bay uh, down into submission, but not before this SCV arrives and puts a few more hit points on it. Uh, just to kind of oh. stick his tongue out in the Zerg's face. Yeah, that drone is getting a little full there, but thankfully those Zerglings will uh, help get that down pretty quickly. Let that hatchery get down. He is doing a good job of spending his money and making sure still going to have enough for the hatchery. He's about 120 short. Meanwhile, he does put up a roach warren to make sure his uh, economies or his minerals are not getting too high there. And then actually, um, he's going to go ahead and return that, then go build the hatchery. Okay, great. Uh, so hatchery will go down. A factory is going to go down, as well as a bunker here at the choke of the Terran. 
So factory with no possibility of an add-on, this this probably means he's either going to put out one Hellion and then try to expand, or more likely he's going to move on to some sort of Banshee play yeah. as he's got a second refinery, but the Zerglings move up and they're going to see the same information that I've just told you. So he should be well aware that uh, Banshees are a possibility. After putting down his hatchery, Nurcio, I, I would expect to see him uh, get a second clean out pretty quickly. And this is a really late expansion for Zerg. I already at 31 supply with uh, those five roaches heading down. Yeah, heading I, towards the natural again. It, it seemed like he wanted to get those roaches out first before he decided to do that. He's got right. a couple of lings there as well. Now the bunker is, uh, and there he did move his factory to uh, add a tech lab there. And he does have his starport going down. So questionable how well these roaches will be able to do, but it looks like he just wanted to put forth a force there. Uh, not have to necessarily build his uh, hatchery on his opponent's schedule. And here come these roaches up front. Going to send this overlord over at least to peek in there. Give him some uh, vision if he needs it. And there we've got uh, them moving away. He's going to go ahead. Nice micro there on the roaches. Can't get that one out before it dies. STV is moving up to repair. Another roach does fall. And it doesn't look like a whole lot of damage being done here. Might even lose that overlord as well. Wow, he's going back with the roaches, actually. Oh, and he does lose the overlord. That is huge. All the roaches, yeah, no big deal. But losing that overlord and completely delaying his drone production, especially with a banshee on the way, that is huge. And he's actually, uh, Fuser is actually putting out cloak. So I like yeah. how, uh, how this game's going for him so far in the early game. Now he can sit in that bunker, and when he's comfortable, he can take his expansion, salvage it off, and move into uh, a more standard army composition. Meanwhile, Nurcio uh, finally getting uh, that Overlord out. I'm going to pump out just a lot more drones. Checking the income tab, we can see once again, common uh, Nurcio versus Terran. He's way, way ahead in the Harvester count. And there is uh, just uh, two queens out right now. He did see that starport, so he's got at least some idea what may be coming out. Curious if he'll produce another once this lair is done at the natural. Uh, left an Overlord in the middle, but here comes that first Banshee, so keep an eye out on that side of the map to see what will actually go down for there. We got a bunch of larvae just now popping out, and what will he continue on his unit production? He's actually just continuing to drone up. He's got another Queen on the way, anticipating that Banshee play incoming right now. Meanwhile, he's gonna send his units back that attack up and leave that one Zergling back just to make sure if he expands, he'll know exactly when that's gonna happen. Now, He's got the orbital command up, and uh, he's making SCVs from it. Uh, so he's just not. And actually, the cloak here. banshee is in the natural of uh, of Nurcio, taking out a lot of drones. He does have one overseer making, but it's in the middle of the map. Second one being made down by the natural. Uh, the banshee actually could have probably killed the queen, but did well to kill a lot of drones there. Uh, checking out the kills on it. it. It's way up at seven. Now gonna move in and it could target this queen, but it knows uh, the overseer is on the way. Really nice banshee uh, shoot and shoot micro here, uh, shown by our, our Terran player Fuser. A few, uh, few hits going on by the queen, but a second banshee is on wow. the way. Uh, loaded up with energy, gonna move into the natural. This one has uh, 12 kills, and apparently that's enough for her. Gonna fly on home. And here comes this Banshee moving into the natural. Looks like he's lost sight of it a little bit while he's trying to set up his natural. Get his tank siege up and now going to move in with that cloak Banshee. Yeah, and here comes the Overseer is going to be ready for it. But he might still be able to get a few kills off there. One, two. Looking for a third. Yeah, he'll get it. Make it a fourth. So some very, very, I mean, those Banshees have paid for themselves tenfold. This over here with 12 just getting more energy. Now the lair did go down. What's coming up because of it? Roach speed, uh, but nothing to deal with these yet. It's really surprising. I don't even think our Zerg has made an evolution chamber in the games that we've watched him play, uh, which just kind of blows my mind, but uh, to each their own. Like I said, every StarCraft 2 player is like a snowflake. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, looks like Fuser, a bit of a mistake here, uh, should really have had that Banshee at the bottom right, uh, guarding over the third base. I guess he didn't anticipate Zerg to swing around with the drone and take that base so quickly. That's really not a common move. So now with the energy, he's going to swing in, but this Overseer, uh, right on top of the Banshee, gets uh, one kill there, second kill. Going to take out one more drone before, oh, five HP. Now going to move into, uh, no, it's just going to sit, uh, sit tight right uh, in this annoying position. Creep spread, spread uh, started for Zerg. 
He's pushing that out well to, oh. towards the uh, towards the uh, middle of the map, and now a Viking coming in. Gonna try to take out that Overseer. That is a really nice tactic there. And even if he can't get the Overseer, gonna take out a few Overlords. Looks like that Banshee uh, that was hiding safely actually got sniped. Yeah, and this is so bad for the Zerg right now. That supply blocks him. The second Overlord is gonna get hit as well. He gains two from this hatchery, uh, but I think, well, maybe he will survive another day. This slow-ass queen trying to get any damage <laughs> he possibly could do. There, uh, he does die, so he's having he's making five Overseers right now to make up not only for being supply block, but then also for continuing his production. And he has moved into uh, uh, the back here. Nurcio has, and he could actually make his way in. Ooh, Look at here. double contaminate on the factories by Nurcio. Very nice. Shutting down tank production for 30 seconds there. And, uh, or maybe he, not 30 seconds. It looks like it's going faster than that. I don't know how long it is. I thought it was 30 seconds. Yeah, it is. It says 30 seconds. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll trust myself in the future. 30 seconds. So another Banshee comes out. Uh, Zerg Army will have to move uh, back into position. That Banshee was repaired up. This is Hero Banshee number one. Uh, she has 15 kills on her. And... Uh, this, uh, these two queens back here might be able to take it out if she can get this first hit. Overseer is in position, but look at that. Just adding up to the kills. Look at how many. I mean, the reaction time not incredibly fast in there. They will sandwich that. Banshee. Banshee got 19 kills. Don't don't give it up all now. And does manage to get away. <laughs> so uh, great job here. Still nothing. There's finally we get an evolution chamber coming out of the Zerg. But nothing else to deal with the air. No... Uh, no Spire, no Hydralist dead, nothing at all. Not just continuing to go with this ground force to army. So my problem with Terran's play in this game is, yeah, he's doing really, really nice for, for Asplint with the Banshee, but he, he's, there's no actual threat of defeat. So he's coming in, harassing a few units, but he's not forcing Zerg to really, you know, make a huge army to deal with any sort of pressure. It'd be nice if he was pushing forward just with a feint of pressure with tanks and, and a lot of marines to follow up. Actually, looks like he's going mech play, so if there was some sort of uh, tank Thor uh, feint to, to really make Nurcio worried, but he really hasn't felt that fear, and he's way oh ahead in the supply yet again at 135 versus 115, now 120. He he's got the three so bases with just so many drones. He could so easily take this out, Chill. He's gonna try to get a surround on the tanks. This would definitely be GG on game number one. Roach is moving to position. They will annihilate oh those God. tanks. Uh, just a horrible, horrible position to be in. None of those are seized up. Finally, we'll have one siege in the back, but the amount of Roaches that are here is just way too much. And just one small window of opportunity is all this Zerg player needed in order to move into uh, <laughs> into play and Fuser, I guess, takes it as uh, as well as he can and just says, you know, LOL, good game, go steps. Uh, Nurcio <laughs> says, yeah, that was a good game. And again, just like what an amazing display of, of showing this like inherent threat to a Zerg user. You know, and, and how many Zerg users would you be like, okay, I'm going to put up like 50 spore crawlers now. And, you know, like I would fall in that department and, and uh, a few queens. Um, the uh, the right amount of overseers, and he was able to take care of that Banshee play. He obviously took a hit from it, but not that much as he still got out an enormous army and took care of business. I like that one. Good game, Orange.